Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. It's time for us to push forward with Hieta's questline. So, of course we have been around a fair amount of the map already. We have a few places that we're going to need to visit. This video is going to cover all of Hieta's positions within Leonia. We will obviously not do her final position, that'll be later on in the walkthrough. So first things first, she is going to want a Shibiri Grape. Now I purposefully left the first one inside of the Stormvale Castle dungeon. Um, the entrance of which should be along this wall. Um, so we'll just go back in and grab that. Now I imagine most people will have already picked this up, but just in case somebody did in fact run past it, I figured we'd leave the first Shapiro Grape location just there like that, so you guys can see us picking it up. Now I'm not entirely sure if you can get in here before you faced Godric, um, but I don't really know if you need to be back here for that anyway, as... She wasn't even out here when I hadn't faced Godric yet, so we're going to go over there, we're going to skip through all of her dialogue so that we can move her on to the next position. So we'll give her the Shibiri group. Once that's done, we can now move on to her next position, um, which is actually also going to be near her um, next grape. So you want to come over to the Leonia Highway North. If you haven't been over here before, um, well, obviously you may want to get the map fragment so you can see everything first. But basically you'll, you'll need to come on down um, the road, hit the swamp, pretty much head straight north. You'll see that there's a load of ruins here. Pick up on the road and you can come over to the Leonia Highway North Grace. From here then we want to head back out towards the ruins. Um, both Hieta and her grape are over in these ruins. Uh, we want to head over to the southern side. So as we're looking over that's going to be to the left. Let's not take any chances with all these soldiers. We're going to go and head and deal with these. We'll be clearing the rest of the loot here as well. There's a couple of other items available um, just as a part of the walkthrough. It makes sense for me to do that. <laughs> Hulk! Let's continue over this way. Really should try ignoring slash keeping out of the way of the dogs. A fragile character here doing pretty okay so far. Oh, we've got some runes to use. We should probably use those before we fight any of the invaders. We've got two invaders to deal with in this video, so excuse me. We don't be wanting that. Yes. <laughs> Just trying to make this quick. I know I've been trying to avoid the uh, less major, less major approach of some of these encounters, but some people may want this to be faster, so I'll try to make that a thing. I wonder how much health they have. Really gotta improve how much damage I can do. Oh, uh, hello dog. I am about your life. Get out of me. Get out of there. Are you alive? How weird. In any case, you wanna roll into this? Oh no. <laughs> That's a bad noise. <clears throat> Here we should have Shibiru Grape. And I can't remember what items in this actually. There we go, two fingers heirloom. Is that the faith one? Yes, no good for me. Stargazers is quite a while away, but probably not going to use it. Let's deal with you. Uh, I don't think there's too much. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of loot over there, look. Is there something in the, one of these tents as well? Like there's something in here. No, must be wrong. Okay. Right, so grab this on the way over and then Hieta should be kind of waiting not you along where are we yes over this way where are we should, should be like a long wall there we go hopefully we won't aggro the lobster that'd be real bad so here we can give you the next shibiri grape There we are, so that's all done. Um, that uh, will move her to her next position, but her next grape is not quite so simple. Um, I'm just make sure we haven't got any more loot in the ruin before we move on. Do -do -do -do. I don't think there is. Yes, there is. Aha. Always good to have a double check. Some mushrooms. That's going to be it. There's, I don't think there's anything else of note here. We'll be using the portal later on. Yeah, so the next place you want to go. Hopefully I don't get aggroed here whilst we're in the map is going to be all the way on the eastern side 
where this marker is. So if you haven't been over before, um, you can kind of see along here, this should be a ramp just this way. I've never actually used this way to get up before. It looks like you probably can, uh, but I'm going to use this uh, foot of the four belfries grace here, because I've obviously got a lot of this map unlocked already. So you can kind of, if you kind of want to clear some of the zone out as you're doing it, just follow the uh, the cliff along here. There's quite a lot of loot anyway. There's a, um, a spirit ash, I think it's about here. Could be a little bit further on. There's a spirit ash along here anyway. You've got a cave to deal with and some other stuff. But you're going to want to meet us at the foot of the four belfries. Now from here we're going to head directly south. Let's see where my marker is already. We ain't going to be dealing with these bats on the way over there. We're going to pretty much just dodge our way around these. We don't really want to be dealing with these if we can help it. Because once we get down here we need to deal with an invader. Now I'm doing this at a specific point in the walkthrough before we've actually dealt with any of the zone or area bosses. We've done a few of the dungeons, which is why we have so much of the map unlocked. Um, I believe this glitch or um, may not have been a glitch, but I believe it's been fixed now. But essentially during my first draft of the walk main walkthrough that I did on the channel, um, the invaders could be blocked if you had um, taken on any of the um, not any, but all of the area bosses. So we're doing this before that has been done. I recommend tagging this. This will allow us to respawn here pretty easy. As you can see, he kind of just spawns right there. He is pretty nasty, and he does have heals, so we do need to be careful of that. Um, he does have some pretty good closing moves um, with his um, this Albert, so we need to just be, just be careful. The rocks are pretty good at hitting him just because of the... Um, the way they mess with his ability to dodge. No, no, no. That'll do. And this will be our next scrape. Vanished Halberd plus eight. How lovely of you. <laughs> I forgot what you dropped. So we'll obviously be using this um, Grace of Fast Travel later. But um, for now, that is this one done. So next up for Hieta then, we'll be heading over to where she'll be next. So I can take this off so it doesn't confuse me. And we'll want to go to, where is it? Here we are, the Broken Bridge. So we'll come over to the Gate Town Bridge and she should be around where, where the marker is just there. And again, just for those that may not have been here before, you can either come up here through the lake, jumping on up the bridge, or the way I got up here is you could just come from the Leonia Highway North, which we've already been to, and then head north up the road, and you'll get here pretty quickly. Just be aware that there is a Knight Cavalry here, so if you are pretty low level or you don't really want to fight that, um, do this during the daytime. In any case now, when we look over this way, we should see Kieta again. So this time it's a little bit, um, a little bit different, so we need to give the grape. I've never not told her what this is. I'll try not to say anything. Hopefully this doesn't break the quest. Oh, we have to tell her. Okay, okay. <laughs> so now she's going to say that she's been sick. Yes, yeah, like this. She doesn't like that they're people's eyes. So now what we actually need to do is we need to rest at the Grace and then go and speak to her again. I don't know why they made it so that we have to do this, but we do. Again, this could have been patched, so you may not have to rest to so try and just talking to her again, but... This is how I know that it works. That's what I'm going to do. Here we are. Now, when we rest at the grace, she should no longer be there anymore. There she is gone, look. So her next position, and this is going to be the toughest part, is going to be all the way over in Bellum Church. So if you haven't been here before, uh, the best way to access it without going to Relicori, there is like a, a teleporter in like the first area. So when you kind of teleport in and it brings you, I think to like, I think it's like here, there's a, there's a teleporter along this bridge and that'll bring you out over where this kind of gate looking thing is here on the road. Um, but you don't need to go through all of that. You can just pass through. And if you have been to any of these graces on the way around to the previous place where we fought against Edgar, um, you can just come on up this big um, valley slash crevasse, 
And once you've been kind of all the way up here, you'll be able to look back this way and there's a ramp that comes up and that'll take you pretty much directly to the Bellum Church, which is where we're going to go next. Okay then, so once we're here, um, Yetta will be waiting for us, so we're going to go ahead and exhaust her dialogue again. This time she wants a fingerprint grape or fingerprint eye. Yeah, here we go. And so from here then we want to head basically north out of the, uh, no not north, we want to head east. East from the church. Nearly led you guys slightly wrong. East, and maybe even a little bit south. This is another area where there can be a Knight's Cavalry, so just be aware of that. Uh, we're not going to be dealing with that right now. But we want to go over until we hit the cliff face. And then we're going to take a left turn, so we will in fact be heading north. So we're just going to head on all the way up this way. Now we are going to deal with um, a, I think a lot of people call it sour and sour, I feel like that's pretty accurate. Now the reason we've come all this way is because if you look over that way, look, we can see all of the uh, catapults. They are way more accurate than they have any business being, um, and so I'm actually just pretty much avoid them at all costs as we, as we come in over this way, so we're just going to go around them. Now then, I already have it unlocked, um, but there is in fact a grace over at those gates there. Anybody that has been following the series has already been over and unlocked it because that's something that we've already done. This rat's going to be locked. Follow me now, isn't it? So I can't show the map. Let's see if we can just de aggro it a bit. We want to go down there anyway. Nope, can't de aggro it right now. I just wanted to show it, but I guess it's just not going to let me. Is it? So this, this pretty much works on sight. So if you're out of sight from the tower, it won't get you. It's not going to let me bring the back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so you can see, um, if you follow this up there, uh, you'll actually be able to get around the back of the soldiers and then get to the grey so you have a closer restart point. But I don't need to do that. So now we're going to head up towards the tower. Um, and when it activates its big fiery eye, we can uh, get behind cover for um, to, to make the, the build up that's coming up there go down. But once we get close to this wall here, it kind of stops affecting us anyway. So we're just going to pretty much use that to our advantage. You can see that it does damage as well as builds up the madness, which is real bad. Um, if it procs that madness on me, I'm probably going to be dead. I'm going to take a heal before the next thing. Now from here, what you want to do is wait until it goes out. As soon as that happens, we're going to jump on up. And what we're aiming for is to get right onto that bit of wall there. Where we can do the same thing, we can wait for it to go down. Then we can jump out and jump back in. The reason for that is below us is a load of rats. Oh my god, I'm going to show you where there's loads of rats now because I'm about to fall off. Load of rats down there and we don't want to be dealing with those right now. So we're just going to leave those to do, do their own thing. But from here now we can basically climb up the tower. Uh, I don't think we can actually get these with anything from here, which is real. I wonder if we could firebomb them. I've never tried this before. Let's do, let's do something a little different. I wonder if the explosion will go through the floorboard. Let's try it. Get as far into this corner as we can. Just because it'll be less awkward if we do this. Oh, we can. Oh, yeah, that's ace. Okay. Come here. I'm taking damage from the fire, from the eye here. That's annoying. How many is left? There can't be many left. that one. Is it just one? Is it just you? Are you the last one? Damn it. Ha! I can't believe that works. Is that the last one? No, there's another one up there. There it is. I think it's there. Oops, wrong thing. Yeah, I think we've done it. Cool. <laughs> I've never done it that way before. I'm glad that worked. Okay, so we get Howl of Shabiri. And then, um, if you if you don't want to use the firebombs, you can rush up here to deal with all these. As you saw, they kind of only take one hit to, to deal with them. 
um, and they'll, they'll all be gone. The good thing is this won't respawn now. So once this is done, this is this is done for good, which is useful. Oh my god, I just took my uh, talisman off. So moving on to the next part then, we are going to grab another grace. Um, again, just because this is a part of the actual walkthrough for the game, so I want to make sure we get everything. We're going to jump out of the way of all these rats, because I don't really want to be dealing with them all right now. Uh, we should just head out this way, and we should start seeing the wisps of the next grace any second now. Where are you? Where are you? There it is. Cool, so we'll just use the runes we got. Let's get ourselves a nice new leveling up point. Uh, we're going to face off against fight. This is going to be nasty. Let's get, let's get a bit of damage. Uh, oh, we should check our physic as well. Let's use... So just physic. There's no point in this individual. We have the intelligence. Like that. There we go. So that'll give us plus 10 int for 3 minutes. So fighting against fight, this should just allow us to... Uh, do some extra damage. This this fight could be a little bit tough, particularly for this character. He has a pretty nasty move set. Um, so just bear that in mind. There's loot around here, but I'm gonna um, clear this area properly with the walkthrough later on. So we're just gonna pass on through nice and quickly. And what should happen as we come up this way is we should get an invasion. This is the bit that went wrong during my uh, initial walkthrough, but it should have all been fixed anyway. But we've done it this way to make sure that we don't miss it this time. Here we are, so I'm going to pop that straight away. And we do want to stay, keep some significant distance from this guy. He is extremely dangerous, so just be careful. He causes a lot of madness. He has like laser eyes um, and all sorts of other stuff like this. So just be careful. Yeah, here he comes, look. <laughs> Luckily I can stagger you. It's very good for me. No, stop that. No, stop that. No. <laughs> Luckily, I have all of the good stuff. Stop you being so scary. Stop that. There we go. Vike goes down. Give me your grape. Thank you very much. Of course, we'll head on into the church. This should have a... Uh, is this one the one with the ones with the cloth? I think this one has a cloth. Yes, it does. Can I get the cloth? That's the Benedict Maiden set. Interesting, though, look at that. I'm fairly positive. If you are doing a uh, Vara's quest, um, you can use this lady to get the blood on the handkerchief or whatever it is. I haven't done the quest personally because I don't invade people, so um, I don't have like the best knowledge of that. Obviously, you can have this for a nice little fast travel point for if you do are if, for if you are doing that. Uh, but now we can take this straight back to Hieta over at the Bellum Church. So the final group for Hieta, where are you? There are these without one. There we are. Thank you. May the blessing. And that is her done now until pretty much end game. Um, maybe not quite end game. You can get to it before that, but. Realistically speaking, it's just basically unlocked a skill for us later. So, to anybody that was looking for all of Hieta's um, positions and how you complete her Leonia questline, that's now done. Uh, you can't actually see on my map right now just where we're going to be going to, but like up here where she appears next. For anybody else following the walkthrough, I will see you guys again soon. We will be dealing with all of the stuff on this um, eastern side here. We've got another rise, a, uh, a mini boss here, and we might as well get the Cuckoo's Evergel done as well. So, see you guys again soon for that. Have a good one.